Hey girl. Hey my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading Virgo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do Virgo because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. As well Virgo, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe darling, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me Virgo. As well, be sure to rely on your intuition when it comes to receiving this reading today, Virgo. Because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the cards are just here today to give you some food for thought, uh, my beautiful Virgo. Uh, perspective for you to consider today, but never making the choices in your life, because it's your life to live, Virgo, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's just jump into your reading today. The energy that you're going to be in this week, Virgo, is the Ace of Swords. So you're going to be having a breakthrough this week, quite literally. Pay attention to your thoughts this week, Virgo. Listen to, and you've had this for a while now. This is something I've been kind of hinting at for some a bit for, for you, Virgo, throughout the past weeks for your weekly readings of where it's like you guys have um, a lot of powerful, strong ideas, Virgo, that I feel like some of you guys are just not utilizing or are putting into action enough, right? Um, I have a friend and I wish I could remember their name right now. My mind is just so all over the place, especially whenever I'm channeling messages. But I have a friend that talks about how they don't subscribe to excuses anymore, where it's like if they want to do something, then they're just going to do it. I say it's my friend, it's my barber, actually. <laughs> my barber says that there's no buts or anything like that. They, if he wants to do something, he's just going to do it. There's not going to be a, oh, if only I could do this, but I have to, I just don't have enough time. So it's like, well, no, make the time for it, my barber will say. It's like, if you want to do it, make the time for it. So Virgo, and I feel like it would be easier for some of you guys to make the time for it if you actually wrote it down, having like a, something just visual to see, maybe even having like a whiteboard. Virgo, just something that you can look at so that way you can just like, you, you know, even if it's you have a lot of distractions going on in your life, you can constantly have that reminder of being like, oh yeah, I thought about this idea. And then later on, you can expound on it later on if you have like a thought while you're like cooking, for example, Virgo, because I'm just seeing like randomly someone like making some muffins, honey. So it's like, <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have like some thoughts while you're cooking or in, in the kitchen or something Virgo but uh let's dive let's dive into this energy a little bit deeper let's dive into this ace of swords right starting this out with the clarifiers we have coming in for you the page of pentacles in the reverse so yes I feel like this has been a, a stream of energy whenever I see page of pentacles uh Virgo I see this as like a you know like if we were to compare take ourselves out of the situation and compare our lives to just like being a singular like nucleus of energy and then you have like a string of energy going off to your career going off to your work and you have a string for family and all this right you have a new potential thing that you could sink your energy into page of pentacles a new project a new person new something and because this is inverted for you, Virgo, this is showing to me it's something that you've been blocking off, right? And because it's the clarifying the Ace of Swords, showing to me this is what you've been kind of resistant to, right? I really do feel strongly, Virgo, that you guys should start writing it down, taking your thoughts more seriously, darling. Six of Swords coming in here. So you guys have been rigid in your thoughts recently. You've been very rigid in your plans. You haven't been wanting to transition on from what it is that you're currently doing. Perhaps for some of you Virgos, you've just been playing it safe if you were to be honest with yourself a little bit, right? Excuse me, darling. Whenever I start talking a lot, I end up having a lot of air. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, some of you Virgos probably have found yourself a little bit resistant to uh, making yourself uncomfortable because I know you probably have just been craving some more stability in your life naturally, Virgo, right? And then we have the Eight of Swords coming in here in the, inver in the inverted for you, Virgo. So you kind of acknowledge the sense of where it's just like where you kind of are keeping yourselves down. So why is this the case, right? What's making you 
feel trapped. The lover's card. Okay, Virgo. Now, let's point out the obvious. Let's speak of the elephant in the room, honey. Is this a person that's keeping you distracted? Right? Now, this is obviously in one way that you could translate the lovers. It would be the laziest way of where it's just like your mind has been just off from distracted with other situations in your life, whether it's romantic or not. Um, or this could also be in a way where it's just like because of a past connection, there's just this sense of doubt instilled in you where it's like you, you know, for some of you Virgos, maybe you don't think you're as intelligent or as creative as you um, actually are because of like a past connection not being very conducive to you, right? Where it just instilled some doubt, right? Let's get a, another clarifier on that. Five of Wands coming in here for you. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like this is the card of conflict. This is the card of the obstacle that needs to happen for you. So this is the issue. You got to take care of this, like, whatever whatever this lover's card is for you. And this could, as, even if it's outside of a social situation, because I acknowledge that all my Virgos are, like, in a social type of dynamic in this way, this could easily be in a situation where you fall off the help, uh, fell off the horse with something, Virgo, and then it's because of that so that's kind of been paralyzing for you ever since, right? Because it's like you just get that PTSD and that still becomes the blockage in your life, right? Where it's like until you can't continue going forward because you constantly have this thought of if you were to get back on that horse, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Six of Swords in the reverse, you would end up falling back down. But you know that's kind of a silly idea, Eight of Swords. Um, but that's the thing that you got to be working on, Five of Wands, that blockage. So, yeah, let's close off this energy, darling. And then now, Virgo, let's get into the advice from your spirit guides this week. Now, Virgo, I always say this is the portion where it's my favorite personally because it doesn't spare your feelings. It just gives you the cold, hard facts, the honest truth in the name of making you, helping you progress in your life, honey. So we got the Five of Wands for you, following you, funnily enough, right? Just the last card we pulled. So this is what Spirit wants to be really addressing, drilling into the message for you, Pisces. Or what did I call you, Pisces, uh, Virgo? Um, is the blockages, is what's been that frustration, that opposition that you've been experiencing. This is part of the reason why, Virgo, I like to use multiple tarot decks, is because it's like, <laughs> it takes away any type of skepticism that you might have, honey, and that if this message is for you, right? So we have these six of wands coming in here. So this is really for a message for my Virgos who feel as if you're just going to fail or fall flat on your face, and that's why you have, that's why you've been blocking that page of pentacles that page of earth energy in your life virgo the six of wands comes in in the upright confirming to you where it's just like no actually darling you would have a lot of success this is the card of victory this is the card of everything working out quite literally truly uh virgo i would even strongly suggest for you to look up the card uh six of wands so you just know i'm not just like telling you what it is that you want to hear and like have it sound fluffy and all that darling i'm really not Y'all should already know by now. I have no problem saying what it is I see. Star card in the reverse, because this is what you've been having doubts about. Um, and it's really been in your head, uh, Virgo. It's almost like that's been what's out of balance in your life recently. I feel like you've probably even have caught yourself, Virgo, being... I don't want to use this word because I don't want this to sound like gaslighty, but maybe for some of you guys, you felt like irrationally emotional. And I'm not saying about like with people, with situations with others, right? You could just be fighting in yourself where it's just like you're showering or washing your face or just cooking, making those muffins, honey. And like you burst into tears, right? I feel like it's, that's what's been needing a hold on you is where it's like your emotional state has just been distraught because it's like you, you just... Uh, you don't view yourself so lovely because of that past regression. And it's just like, uh, you get, this is like my Virgos. I want to tell you to start making wishes on like 11-11 so you can start having some more hope in your life again. I feel like you guys need some hope. Like a, if I were to write a prescription for you, it'd be a prescription for hope. <laughs> is that corny? Probably. Uh, let's get into another card, Virgo. We have the Ace of Pentacles inverted for you and as well. Yeah, you guys feel so hopeless about a situation, Virgo. And that's the thing. Like, you're feeling so hopeless about the situation because of this Five of Wands. And I feel like this is more so an, an, an internal thing with that, you know, what is that blockage going on for you, Virgo, with that Lover's card? It really is being such a wall for you. 
man. Did you fall off that horse, or is this effect involving because of another person, Virgo, honey? We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is just the, all a matter of trusting, uh, Virgo. Trusting and having faith. This is the this is the card of faith because with this card, you'll notice this is where you tab into the video, uh, Virgo, so you can see the card's artwork. <laughs> So if you look closely, Virgo, you'll see the owl here guiding the individual to pick which the pentacle that's the best for them, right? It may not be the biggest one, may not be the most colorful one, Virgo, but it's still the one that's the best for them. And I feel like if this is a situation here, Virgo, where you kind of just need to trust in, in your instincts. You need to trust in yourself um, and that things are going to work out. Stop, you know, I know it's easier said than done, but... I really do feel like this sense of where you need to just be a little bit more optimistic, honey. <laughs> a little bit more optimistic. But um, yeah, let's get into now, Virgo, the good things that are in the works for you this week, darling. Let's see what's good. what good things are in the works for my beautiful Virgos this week. All right, this card wanted to come out. We have the Six of Cups. Come on now. So this is the card of healing. This is the card of serenity, Virgo. This is a beautiful card to be having for this to be in the works for you. You're going to be having a lot of healing this week. So I feel like this is more so a sign, especially from the other portions, if I can be bold enough to say, Virgo, this is showing to me that you guys start being kinder, that you guys start becoming kinder, I think is the proper verbiage. Um, to yourself this week you, you start listening to yourself and you start seeing just how good you are just how lovely you are virgo it makes me extremely happy let's get some clarifiers on this now virgo we have the eight of cups in the reverse coming in for you something that you kind of thought was all was lost right let's get another card with this eight of cups in order to actually king of cups you really thought you really lost faith with something virgo you really thought lost faith with something something that really just emotionally impacted you in such a deep heavy way this is kind of crazy virgo because this is like an energy i don't think i was sensing really at all from like your past week's readings is this like a re extremely recent heartbreak virgo or am i just tapping into like a new wave of virgos that have like this really like someone y'all took a really heavy emotional blow or y'all virgos have been just really good at hiding it from me and the cards just are now connecting to this i mean you have the four of pentacles right so you're learning where to invest your pentacles into again after that hurt from the initial right so let's just say like a past job situation past person past connection really like took a blow um because you invested energy into it um hmm it's almost just the sense of like i know it sounds corny but you're just like learning to just be hopeful again <laughs> that's the thing like i feel like you, uh so many of you virgos have just lost faith or lost hope with stuff and it's coming with a knight of cups it's coming with that opportunity it's coming if this is in terms of like a situation of like some type of relationship virgo um this healing occurs through like a kind of like a knight in shining armor coming in if i were to be corny in that way right as the knight of cups because it means like look at that card honey tab back in virgo so you see it it's like an actual individual holding a bouquet of flowers Hours, right but cups also represent opportunities right virgo so even if we were to say like you fell off that horse maybe you get an opportunity to be trained by like i don't know like dolly parton as a random example to teach you how to horseback ride and that's it's through that wonderful experience that you not only got to meet dolly parton but you got to learn to realize that you could ride that horse again or something like that Hopefully that makes sense for you, Virgo. Oh, darling, let's get into my Virgo social and romantic situation this week. So when I say social or romantic, this means that it's not going to always be just romance for some Virgos, some people, it may be for their work life, it may be for their family, maybe for their platonic friends, Virgo. I like to keep it open. So the card that stepped forward for you guys is the Kiwi card. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. Doesn't that sound like an extremely boring card? <laughs> I would say just kidding, but I'm not really. Um, this is a card of where it's like some of you guys need to go into some deep reflection when it comes to a connection, Virgo. I do feel like for some of you guys, you guys have been giving something second, third, fourth, fiftieth 
80th chances, Virgo, with a situation that has just been toxic for you, if I can be bold enough to say. Like, I don't know, I just get this strong impression that some of you guys have, are just giving something way too many chances, you're giving something too many benefit of the doubts for, and I feel like it's just impeding you, right? I feel like you need to put things in perspective. But I could be just speaking out of pocket on any, right? Let's pull some clarifiers for this. We have starting out the world card in the reverse. So no, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't speaking out of pocket, honey. This is repetitive cycles with somebody. I don't know if this, if this is in regards to an ex. I'm probably tapping into some Virgos who just admittedly given too many, one too many times to a chance to an ex. Some of y'all like may probably recently made the mistake of texting somebody back that you haven't talked to in a long time, Virgo. All right now, death card coming in here. Why the death card? Was this already over and it's going along with this narrative where it's like, let things die? Or is this a sign to two of swords in the reverse? Yeah, you know you need to let this die, Virgo. You know you need to let this die. This, you know, this is one of those things. Stop giving, stop giving so many chances to something, Virgo, is something that I'm getting. If someone has hurt you, you know, but who am I to say? That's why you have the Kiwi card. And the, <laughs> that's the fact you have the Kiwi card. I'm not here to tell you what to do, honey. Like I said, Virgo, I'm just here to tell you that you need to just meditate. Think on this. Are you really happy with the decisions? Are you proud of the decisions that you're making? Do you really want this type of individual in your life? Are you being treated right, Virgo? Let's close off this energy before I get into too deep, honey. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. This is, again, a card of history, Virgo. Oh my gosh, darling, darling, y'all. Some of y'all are dabbling too much with some axes, honey. Some of y'all are dabbling too much with some axes, Virgo. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Virgo, let those exes die. Do not text them back, honey. Do not text them back. Do not give second, third, fiftieth chances to that thing because there's a reason that they disappointed you the first time. They disappointed you the fifth time, honey. I guarantee you they're going to disappoint you the hundred and eleventh time. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, Virgo. Let it go. All right, now, Virgo, let's tap into your career and financial this week. Let's see what's going on over there. Let's see what's going on. For my Virgos financial and career this week. Y'all have the Emu card. This is a card, this is, says rather, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. I mean, all right, this is a good convenient card to be having, Virgo. This is a time to explore. I feel like you're act I've pulled this card for you before, way in the past. Uh, oddly enough, I remember that for some reason. I do hundreds of readings, thousands at this point, Virgo. But I oddly, re uh, oddly enough remember that. Um, this is a time for you to go on a new adventure. This is, you know, so when it's in terms of your career and financial, this is kind of reading between the lines, honey. And this kind of means that this is a good time for you to venture into new possibilities. Right, Virgo? Let's see. Starting this out, we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, going into taking a risk, I feel like is the thing, Virgo. Taking a risk, letting your inhibitions down is something that I'm hearing as well. But yeah, taking a risk with something, Virgo. Uh, or you would kind of view it as risky, rather, right? Even if the sense of what's being risky is you just leaving your comfort zone. Five of Cups being inverted for you, right? This is a situation of where it's like, again, um, maybe even connected to like you falling off that horse, right? You, maybe you had like a disappointment in terms of your financial, you know, let's just use stocks for example, just for simplicity's sake, Virgo. Maybe you had some losses, you experienced some losses in a stock recently. And because of that loss, it's kind of scared you from doing any further future investments into something, right? This is kind of a card where it's like, get out of your head, Virgo, get out of your head. Remember, I kept on talking about your intuition as well, Virgo, so two of pentacles so yeah you constantly are just like weighing things out way too much uh virgo i feel like this is kind of a situation where you're being asked to just commit to something rather than just constantly being at this place of just being like <sighs> yeah just commit <laughs> really virgo three of wands but it doesn't even matter what i say here huh right because you'll just ignore the signs daily you're just going to keep ignoring the signs virgo until one day you just decide that you actually are good again but some of you guys some of you guys just need to lick your wounds for a little bit longer before you get back on that horse and i guess that's fine virgo right and that's fine i should accept that for some of you guys but if you want to know how to continue going further lick your wounds faster darling 
<laughs> but I understand it. I'm not trying to pressure you whatsoever, Virgo, so please don't take it in that way. Um, but now, let's, before we close out your reading, Virgo, let's get a quote, positive affirmation card, because y'all already know I love my positive affirmations, honey. Let's see what positive affirmation that we have for you this week. My beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Okay, this card wanted to come out. When you lean towards love, you are led. Ah, <sighs> this is the card of faith, Virgo. I want to just read this off again for you. When you are leaned towards love, you are led. So I feel like you guys have just kind of lost your path recently. And I feel like you need to, this love is more so directed to self-love, right? I know that might sound corny, but I feel like, <sighs> because especially with that nine of cups inverted that we had for you, I feel like you guys need to do more that just feels better to you. Take that risk that feels good to you, that reminds you why you're just alive and just, I don't know, I feel like you need to do something that just makes you proud of yourself, Virgo, really. Um, and I'm going to just leave it there. Well, let me read it off one more time before I leave it there. When I lean towards love, I am led. So, Virgo, that's the reading that I have for you this week. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to give this reading to you. I really appreciate it, and I don't take it for granted. If you'd like to book a personal private, re private reading with me, Virgo, my website's down below in the description box, simplyvelka.com, along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything's just Simply Velka. Uh, if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Let me know what tarot cards resonated with you, Virgo. And yeah, if you have a friend that's into tarot readings at all, send them their zodiac sign video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well virgo till next time i love you so much virgo